A man goes to the doctor and the doctor says to him, I'm afraid you're going to have to stop masturbating. The man says, what? Why? The doctor replies, because I'm trying to examine you. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. Time to eat some breakfast. <laughs> oh my god, that is disgusting. Will this go in? Oh man, I had an amazing joke sent to me yesterday. I'll try and do it justice. So, a kid's in school, and he asks the teacher, What's a palindrome? And she says, race car. And he goes, oh, okay, okay. And a few years passes, and he's robbing a bank. And he comes out, and he says, Where's the palindrome? And then his friend <laughs> sat there in a kayak. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> what, what an amazing mess of a joke. Yeah, I didn't know quite where to laugh. I laughed twice in it. It's a double joke. <laughs> I thought it was amazing. <laughs> oh, that was a, that was good. Oh, man. Hey, Dad, what do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. Yesterday, I watched a documentary about beavers. Best damn documentary. Want to hear a joke on factory construction? No. I'm still working on it. Oh, my God. What the fuck? You're still working on it? Here is another joke. Today, my son asked can I have a bookmark? And I burst into tears. 11 years old and he still doesn't know my name is Brian. <laughs> okay, Oppo27, that's a good one, thanks. No, I don't know anything about- Hey, I've got a riddle for you guys. Right. What's the Did difference? You it on Reddit? <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. What's the difference between a piano a tuna and a pot of glue. A tuna, like a fish? Yeah. Um, <gasps> a riddle. No. Is that a riddle? Shit. What happened? What did you do? Uh, I fucked it. Wait. A, What's the a difference piano? between a piano, a tuna, and a pot of glue? You give up? Yeah. You can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. But what does what's that got to do with the glue? I knew you'd get stuck on that one. Oh. Fuck you! Oh. My friend Tomascus rang me two minutes before my stream started to tell me that. I hate you. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. It's just a, it's just like a troll co troll comment. It's not even. Oh. <laughs> Nothing I say is original. Where was that stolen from? Damascus? Yeah. He probably stole it from somewhere else. Yeah, he's a funny guy. When does choke become a dad joke? When it becomes apparent. When it becomes apparent. Oh, I get it. I get it. That's a good one. Hello, Sips. You Hello. inspire me to spend so much money on city builders. Would you like to hear a joke? Knock, sure. knock. Who's there? Do you want two CDs? Do you want two CDs who? Do you want to see these nuts? It's not a boot. It's I imagine the boot. Swiss people really like their flag. It's probably a big plus for them. Hate you. <sighs> Jesus Christ. How comes? <laughs> Thank you, man. Well, Simon's now joining the muted crowd. I like, I like their kind of jokes. Like I am. Yeah, I. It's, it's one like of those one I to fight myself. You know, like, I don't God. want to fight, but I can't help it. You know, you freaking relay runners, right? You've got to hand it to them. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone's, one by one, everyone's getting, everyone's getting slowly destroyed. <laughs> uh, Nope, Duncan <laughs> actually did. <laughs> Duncan did actually get muted. What was that? What was that joke? Exit signs. What? You, you literally mute. Stop <laughs> muting people, Steve. He's been kicking me. How do you think I feel? I have to now you're from the Discord. <laughs> Fuck's yeah. sake. What was your joke about exit signs? They're on the way out. Oh, yeah, they don't need them anymore. Why? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, exit people signs. People where to exit now. This is like a Milton Jones, like... <laughs> <laughs> One line of school. Yeah. Mm. 
My girlfriend called, said, come over. No one's home. I came over, and no one was home. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend has a really unusual way of putting the plates back in the um, cupboard. Like, it's not by size or by age or anything. It's just by how much she likes them. It's, um, it's a really unusual eating dish order. Oh my god. Okay, get rid of him. That one was. No, you can oh. honestly kick him for that. That's alright. Yeah. yeah. It's permanent. You gotta pay the. Pay the top. I don't know, like the ones that make you groan are sometimes. They're the good ones. You know, good ones. They're right, yeah. Standing out in a field and uh, throwing a ball around, and I was supposed to catch it. Couldn't see it, so I was looking around and couldn't see where it was, and then it hit me. <laughs> it's. Hey, thanks very much, uh, Bacon Shazam. I have another joke. What video game does an emo BDSM expert play? Latex edge ins. Get it? Latex and their edge. Yes, I get. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I get that. That's good. Re that's a really good one. Bravo. But the lower tier recipes don't Bless use him, wire sorry. from what I remember. What do a woman and play. a bar have in common? Liquor in the front, poker in the back. Like. What's a what's an anti joke? Anti joke. It's like a horrible vegetable. It's just a joke that isn't really a joke, but it sounds <laughs> no, like a joke. No yeah. one likes it. Like, yeah. why did the little girl fall off the swing? Because she had no arms. Oh. Whoa. Oh no. Oh no. How did that happen? What are these horses? Was it genetic? <laughs> Oh, it's a llama man. Smelting is just smelting. Five right? out of six matter. scientists say Russian roulette is safe. <laughs> Today was a terrible day. Right. My ex got hit by a bus, and I lost my job as a bus driver. All on the same Why day? did Sally fall off the swing? Because she had no arms. God damn. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not Sally. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Not poor Sally. Poor not Sally. Unbelievable. The amount of gyp that she gets. Okay. It seems appropriate to have some factory jokes. So here goes. Okay. I've just been forward from the clock making factory. I was putting in too many extra hours. Before that, I was fired from the M and M factory for throwing out the W's. Oh my God! You threw out. Okay. I mean, those are both terrible. It's got to be said, those are both really terrible jokes. But thank you very much, all the same. Mucho appreciado. And all of that jazz. Ah! What do you call a cross between a joke and a rhetorical question? I what don't do know. What do you call a cross between a joke? <laughs> and a oh my question? god! <laughs> oh, That's amazing. It got me. Samuel. Are you guys ready for this? Oh wow! Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm gonna blow your mind. Wow! Oh, no! I whipped my headphone out. <laughs> Look! Look at the sky! Isn't it beautiful? Why am I so dumb? <laughs> it's just. So how about a distasteful Jewish joke? No. I know I know shame on me, but it's too funny and I'm Jewish, so I'm allowed to. Okay. What happens when a Jew has an erection and runs into a wall? He breaks his nose. Lel. Oh my god. Okay. Bacon Shazam. <laughs> Thanks. Watching you. Two fish are sitting in a tank. One looks over at the other and says, Hey, do you know how to drive this thing? The other looks back and says, holy shit, who the hell are you and how did you get in here? <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Rowdy Dog one again. Thanks. As I slipped my finger slowly inside her hole, I could immediately feel it getting wetter and wetter. I took my finger back out, and within seconds she was going down on me. I thought to myself, I really need a new fucking boat. <laughs> oh my god. My girlfriend bought a cookbook the other day called Cheap and Easy Vegetarian Cooking. Right. Which is perfect for her, because not only is she vegetarian, British scientists have demonstrated that cigarettes can harm your children. Fair enough. Use an ashtray. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, thanks very much. Thanks, Newcastle Watson, for the donation. Thanks for the for the jokes. Yeah, you should never extinguish a butt out on your child, unless you first uh, wet the child. It, I think if you can if you can wet the child first, you know, put like 
You know what? Take your child to a church and then dip its head in the in the holy water and then you can extinguish your butt out on it, right? It'll be fine. She's also cheap and easy was missed there, I guess. No, I think it's uh, because not only is she vegetarian. Yeah, I think some some of it might have been missing or maybe you're meant to fill in the blanks. I'm not sure which one. Six. Your yeah. mother is so fat she jumped in the ocean and the ocean jumped out. <laughs> lol 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 I'm gay and 12. Me too. Me too. I'm I'm gay. I'm 12 and I'm crazy. Thanks uh, very much Mr. Ideas. Oh, that's, oh I think I, there's another version that hit me joke really much. Like, like, yeah. I, I wondered why the frisbee was getting bigger and then it hit me. Yeah, I like that one. That's, a lot of those. That's a, that's a better <laughs> version because it's snappier and quicker and, and honestly makes yeah. more sense. You're like this, right? A man in a nudist colony walks past an elephant. The elephant stops and says to him, That's very impressive, but can you pick up peanuts with it? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. So a drunk man walked into a bar. Bet that hurt. <laughs> I go, fuck me, chat. We've heard all these already. We've heard all of these. Every single one. Ah, look at. Uh, had a rabbit do on the side of their head. Ah, oh, don't talk to me about rabbits. Baffling, isn't it? Yeah. Totally it's baffling. Mental. I think I, I, I think mixed mitosis was a good thing. I um I had a cement mixer uh around mine the other day, and uh yeah, it was like we were doing a drive as I do. It's the second job of mine, driveways. Yeah. Right. You're a driveway man. Yeah, my family pull up and say, yeah. "Oh, come, hey, hey, bro, come and help me dig up this this they driveway." Call you bro, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, your mom calls you bro. And he puts his fingers into it, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" He's like, "No, don't worry, it'll be really great." He puts his fingers into the bloody mixer, comes out. The mixer's actually really solid. And then I go, "Well, let's put the feet in there as well." And my sister gets out. She goes, "What are you doing?" I said, well, "Mixomatosis." <laughs> such a such a build up to say mixomatosis. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make that joke up around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah. You breaking that word down in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, Based yeah. around mixed Tried mitosis. to create a believable world. Uh, what are we doing? <laughs> uh, try, try explore them. Yeah, Dad. Report what's up with the not laughing at jokes? What? Well, you better fucking laugh at this one. All right. Or I swear, I'll say something unkind about Terry. Please Ready? don't. Why didn't the chicken cross the road? Why? It was dead. <laughs> Thanks, Mubinski. Thanks. Thanks. I hope the laugh was good. <laughs> it was dead. That's like a, that's like a joke that my son would tell me, and he's seven years old and hasn't developed a sense of humor yet. Um, no, I'm just joking. He's hilarious, but you know that is like the kind of joke you would tell though. Just saying. You're sleeping in that scared the sh <laughs> Sorry about that. These are real bad. Yeah. Sorry. I love you. It's alright. Les, right. did you hear about the new book about anti-gravity? No. I just can't seem to put it down. Oh, God. What is astronauts' favorite game in space? What? Moonopoly. No. Know why skeletons are so calm? No. Because nothing gets under their skin. Oh, God. Oh. Thanks, Bob. Oh. Thanks, Bob. Oh God, that's a bad one. It's like when you're talking ah, to someone, and they're like, "You haven't been listening to a word I said," and you're like, "It's a funny way to start a conversation." Mm. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just stop it. Donation as well. Stone, thanks for the donation. And the Lord said unto John, come forth and you will receive eternal life. But John came fifth and won a toaster. What's up with that joke? It, like multiple times every stream that joke appears. It's like, it's funny enough, but like, holy crap, everybody loves that one. It doesn't make any sense. Hey, Dad. Mr. Car Rental here. I have a riddle. What right. is long, green, girthy, juicy, and full of white liquid? A cucumber, you say? No. A tube of spearmint toothpaste. Nice. God, I would have never, never guessed. Okay. I actually, I, I heard a good dad joke that I saved up for the stream. I thought Steve might appreciate it. Um, which is that I, I have a Russian friend who's a sound engineer, 
and a check one two, and a check one two. That was pretty good. Yeah. I like that. that one. I, I, I saw that really recently. <laughs> I think it was I didn't, take, I didn't want to take it away from. Yeah, me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be that guy. So like, like as soon as a good joke is like, yeah, yeah, I also read that on Reddit. It's like <laughs> yeah. people. Whenever, <laughs> you know, so few jokes have, are like, original. A fun, a fun thing. It's like, huh, been All watching right. QI then. It's like, well, maybe, but no, it was a fun thing I wanted to say. I got a good Reddit joke. You ready? Okay, here it yeah. goes. Mm. All blind guy walks into a bar, right? Biker bar. All female biker bar doesn't know it, right? Goes up to the counter and goes, I want a beer, not one of those frilly, stupid, girly drinks. And the bartender sure. goes, brother, I'll have you know before you run your mouth. You got a six foot four biker blonde right next to you. I'm uh, six foot one. I work as a, a, a construction worker on my off time, so I'm blonde too. You got a blonde guitarist over there. She's a martial artist. And I got a blonde uh, uh, busboy over there who was in, was in the military. Now, you really want to be tell, talking about girly drinks in here? Oh, I told the joke wrong. Fuck. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> come on. Oh, of course you did. I Can knew you were Mute Deltos. Deltos. Up the second you started. Mute Deltos. <laughs> Right, he's up. muted. Oh, <laughs> How, what, what's, what's it supposed to go like? I think it's that... basically like it, it, it keeps going on with threats. It's like, oh, be careful what you. And then he's bounced like, oh, I guess I should ask it twice. It's either like a blonde joke or, or like a girl, a woman joke. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, lol. <laughs> and Nick immediately fucked it up. Oh, so wait, how's it? How does it? What's the punchline? <laughs> I don't remember the punchline off the top of my head, but it's basically something like I don't think Americans should be allowed to tell jokes in this stream. You'd be very anti-American, this stream, Lewis. <laughs> Only anti-Deltos, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I, I, put it, I put it down to his being American. You know, I think, like, they've got mm. a different attitude towards comedy. Fucking, I, okay, so first off, <laughs> Steve, stop muting me. I'm all up in my own head wondering when I'm muted or not. All right, <laughs> well, I'm muted. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Relax. <laughs> Second half, the, the fucking punchline is he was telling a blonde joke, and she goes, honey, you really want to tell that joke in here? And he goes, no, I don't want to explain it four times. Oh, okay. Oh, that was the... This the is end. big brain time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's a classic. Oh, no. Did you hear about the doctor who is half horse? He was the centaur for disease management. Oh, that's good. Thank you for... Thank you for oh, covering for my bad joke by telling a worse one. There you go. I've got no, your back. That was, that was a pretty decent pun, honestly. Oh, I like that a lot. That's a top top one. I'm top so ready one. to be a dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got the humor down. As you know, as you have experienced yourself, you don't technically need to be a dad to tell dad jokes. True. Shit, hang on. Hey, dad. Back with more construction jokes and other puns. Mm -hmm. I used to work the drill. It was boring. I cut a piece of wood with my eyes. Yes, it's true. I saw it with my eyes. Marble is a valuable material. Don't take it for granite. Oh my god. These are these are terrible. These are ke kene Keneji K. Um that that's nuts. Hey lizard bones. You gotta leave that man too. Hey sips, it's me again. Hey. I am currently training to become a pilot. Right. My girlfriend thinks I'm an idiot because I'm building my own car out of spaghetti, macaroni, and fusilli. She won't be laughing when I drive past her. Ugh, Je Jezza Hutchins. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was a good. That was a ten out of ten. Uh, honestly, that was a that was a good one. Yep, that was de <laughs> that was definitely one of the best ones. Jazza Hutchins. Oh, Hippo twenty four. Oh. It's an eighteen month to say the man who invented the window still lives next door to me. He's an absolute ledge. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Rex of Ross is the okay, first one to say give me that filthy Bob. much. Question one, do you want to be Canadian? Uh-huh. Question two, really? Yeah. Canada has an amazing school reputation. Right. All students are grade A students. A. <laughs> Sips, you are like a maple tree. I tap that. Thanks so much for these Kineji K. It's a grade grade A students. That's right. I, I don't know. Are Canadian schools, like, known to be, like, decent or what? I, I can't tell. I don't know. 
I went to school in Canada and look at me. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> no? It was a joke, yeah. Uh, Tanya says, Hey guys, what do you call a row of people lifting mozzarella? A cheesy pickup line. <laughs> and how is a push up bra like a bag of chips? As soon as you open it, you realize it's half empty. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> thanks, Tanya. Those are great. Holy shit. No? Hey, thanks very much, uh, Amaretto Thief32. Thanks for the donation. Sips, want to hear a joke? Of course you do. What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? It's, it's the Holocaust. Thanks very much. Benjamin, thanks for the donation as well. Why was the man at the barbecue so happy? He met the grill of his dreams. <laughs> grill. That was so bad. He met the grill of his <laughs> dreams. I kind of like that one, actually. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Duncan's... Look at Liz being I love Duncan's analogy so much. Yeah. You know, finding the, a, a perfect analogy is like... Um... <sighs> <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> oh. oh god, they're oh, these they're always long Newfie jokes as well, right? Newfie vasectomy. A Newfie couple had nine children. They went to the doctor to see about getting the husband fixed. The doctor gladly started the required procedure and asked them what finally made them make the decision. Why after nine children would they choose to do this? The husband and wife replied that they had read in a recent article that one out of every ten children being born in the Canada was French, and they didn't want to take the chance because neither of them, neither of them could speak French. Motherfucker.